You guys wanted to do Rain of Fire tonight? Yeah, Rain of Fire. All right, let's screen Rain of Fire. Come on, let's get it going. You asked for it. <laughs> Is this kid part of the union? Is he insured? What happens <laughs> if he gets injured down here? I mean, there's a solution, right? If half the half the crop is gone. I mean, just saying. How many kids do you really need? There's one in that front row that you could do without. Get ready. You've not seen a McConaughey like this if you haven't seen this That's movie. That's true. That's true. I hear we might actually have Matthew McConaughey on later. Uh, might later on stop by for a uh, Q&A. It's possible, yeah. This is Matthew McConaughey coming out of nowhere being like, you know what? I won't be an action hero. There, There is a truly beautiful behind the scenes hey, tidbit about Matthew McConaughey's physique and Christian Bale's ego. Any chicks in there want to scale Mount McConaughey? <laughs> Look at the wingspan. Look at the power. It's all there. Total package. Got to air out the pits. Jim, what, it, what was the story? Because I vaguely remember. Uh, Christian Bale read this script and he was like, oh, it's post-apocalypse. They're having trouble with food, all this. And so he did the Christian Bale thing and he went and got emaciated. And he shows up to set and Matthew McConaughey shows up and he's fucking looking like this. He's jacked to the gills. And then Christian Bale's like, no, 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 no. This will not stand. And so they had to shut down production, I think for like six weeks while he jacked back up just so he would look tiny compared to uh, Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> this cigar. He, he has been chopping this cigar all the way from America. It has to be fucking disintegrated. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Listening to them die, I guess? Hmm, what an interesting intellectual exercise. Near the bank, going in 1,600 pounds of horse flesh, right or right down my throat. You read me? Ride the horse, Corey. Bring your <laughs> the horse, like, I'm very much not on board with this plan. Come on, move them out. I'm a fan of Tottenheim. <laughs> pulled by his crotch in yeah. that scene. <laughs> I think him so. up to the rig and just yanked him across the set. They attached a Captain America running rig right to his balls. <laughs> Oh, you pu your puny bail arms can't get it cocked. <laughs> yeah, maybe if you had come up to the set completely emaciated, this yeah. scene wouldn't have lasted this long. 10,000 dragons come screaming over this hill. I don't understand why <laughs> they think it's just done. I know. Yeah, it's five. They shouldn't have put up that 5G. We all know dragons are attracted to 5G. Yep. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, my God. Makana, hey, 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 in the ha ha house. <laughs> Mr. Makana, hey, how how yeah. did you end up in Rain of Fire? Oh, I showed I showed up on on the set one day of this movie, <laughs> and they said you look cool. <laughs> I was wearing my motorcycle jacket. It was amazing. <laughs>